Uh, now we are going to solve a structural modeling of three dimensional wing and model analysis. And this is a free vibrational analysis. It's also called a self weight buckling. This is where it is going to buckle on its own weight. So now this is how the boundary condition is applied when it is fixed and this is how the airfoil is meshed and the airfoil comes out as a claimed out of foil. You want the airfoil data whichever is used in this experiment it is available in Facebook CAD master group. So now go for the problem parameters. So boundary condition is a cantilever pin, volume medium 70 GPA and point ratio is 0.3 and density is a very important parameter which of density this problem cannot be solved. And number of modes to extract is going to be 5. And came order of foil, wingspan is 5 meters and cord length is 1 meters. So how we are going to start the analysis? Just uh, we have to start wing order of So now this is experiment 7 according to a database. Now we are starting the experiment. So how to start? First is first and foremost, first we have to choose structure. Okay. Then we have to wherever from wherever the file we have saved. So we are going to drag the files. Okay, I have a keyboard error file data. So now this data is in this air file. If I say fit in fit, if I go for zoom selection, in the selection this end is open. So I'll quickly go to the modeling and finish off this, create strike line. Okay, finish off this modeling, close the end, and next go for areas, this arbitrary by lines, select blue. And say okay. So select loop. And make a selection so it loop. So it is a close profile. Now say fit. Thank you. And plot areas. Okay. Now the air file is created. Now choose the material properties. Going to before going to material properties, the main thing is element type. Now there is a two typical element selections which are going to happen. So now we are going to use brick eight node 185. Apply. Yeah. And not solve when you drag it down, not, not solve mesh case state 200. It's a dummy mesh, so you have to select what mesh you want. So, in this mesh, we are going to select four noted quadrant. Say close. Now, we have selected this. So, now we are going with material properties. So, material models and everything which are going to maintain it is going to be meter. So, we are going to put 70 9 data point 3 is a point zero ratio. And if you want to check, say go for K plot or plot key points. You want to measure this, you want to measure this because I have mentioned the chord is 1 meter. Just you can just measure this. Go for check geometry, check geometry and key point distance. See, where is into any of these points? It is 0.99, it is equal to 1. Okay, so cancel this is. This whole airfoil data is of 1 meter, is a chord length of this whole airfoil, Cambodia airfoil. Okay, so now we'll go to the and we drawn macros. Now I corrected it. Now it's a L plot or plot lines. Now we have this. Now I need to have a key point because the span says, the PPT says. We have wingspan of 5 meters. For creating the wingspan of 5 meters, I need a point in x direction for 5 meters and say ok. So go for this direction. Yeah, you can find this. Now what you have to do is just you have to make two selections from this point to this point. Create go for print view. Ok. You can go for a zoom in. Okay, select this point, so isometric and perfect in all of this. Say okay. 
So you have done with this line of operate x2 areas along lines. Select this area, say apply, select the line, say ok. Now we are done with this. So because the air file which I have done is going to be projected like this, the whole span is visible. Can check. Now I have to mesh this. Take it to left view and go to meshing. Okay, go for line set and set box plot lines and select the whole lines and say okay. Number of degrees 50. Number of degrees 50. Now we have a box right front view and say because we have already selected this so we are going to mesh this so how we are going to mesh this we are going to area set select this area so least area least area of this is going to be zero because if i give the whole length is one meter so if i give 0 0.5 i am going to get only two elements if i give 0 0.4 so at most i will be getting three elements 0 0.2 will get fetch me five elements so now I need a refined element at each, each a whole throughout this whole uh, area of this airfoil cross section. I need a typical mesh discretization. For this, I need to choose an element. So now I have element choose element chosen element size is going to be 0 0.02. Okay. Now we are going for meshing. So before going to machine, we are going to choose this, say ok, areas, say mesh, ok, so now we have meshed this, ok, then go to mesh tool and say hexa sweep, so now we have to change change this to Okay. Okay. Now we are done with this meshing. Okay. And select left view. Select left view and say fit. So now we have done with this. Now we have this one. Okay. Now we have to fix this. Go for close define loads, apply structure, displacement, on modes box selection plot nodes so you have to select only the outermost nodes and say ok all day you are done with this next you have to go with because already done with boundary conditions now you can see the whole span as mentioned in the ppt right so now you are done with this so solution if we go into solution, we have to prepare the solution to model analysis, option to black block light source and number of modes to extract is 5 and leave it to the free and own given model frequencies and say current ls ok. Ok, see it says no mass given. So when no mass given, I have, to, I have told in the beginning, I have not given density. So give the density parameter 2700 kg per meter cube the density parameter current and loss. Okay, yes. Okay, now it is solving for the model analysis. So now I have done with this. So go for final processor, say read results, say wipe it. First set three, so I have five sets of analysis. Now we go for control flow, model solution. Only displacement vector sum is available for this. Go for uh, left view, you can see the first. As and when I am going, I am going to take, see this is the frequency and the deformation. I am going to take the images, I am going to catch the images. So I can go for five click and click from here, read, close. And say okay, and we get 
the second one picture is appearing over here and I am going to buy pick third read close plot results contra plot model solution so now I got a third block now I am going to get read results buy pick I am going with fourth one plot results counter plot sorry not a solution special person I am done with this so this is fourth mode three results last set plot results counter plot so I got the last picture so I am not taking a picture of this so last so this is the last mode trade so we have captured the frequency score first five more trips. So this starts this this particular model starts the deformation at four hertz. Okay, so that is this problem. So we can see the buckling and you want to see the analysis animation. in your database so now this windows media player get the animation So this is the respective frequency deformation of the shapes observed. So when the mode shapes are going to be initiated, the deformation is initiated for this particular frequency at this formation. So this is the mode shape and the typical vibration. According to us, the geometry was given as your one side pitch standard of the pre vibration analysis. I think mean, uh, the error file file is available in Facebook CAD Master Pro. And we had the same parameters. We have applied the results for first mode shape, expansion, second mode shape, third mode shape, fourth mode shape, and fifth mode shape. Thank you for watching the video.